Uh, hello, everyone. This is Chun Xu from Jilin University. I'm glad to give a talk about our paper. Uh, when federated recommendation meets code start problem, separating item attributes and user interactions. Uh, my talk consists of four main parts. Uh, first is the uh, introduction. Uh, it includes background, motivation, and uh, the solution. Um, code start recommendation task is a long-standing challenging problem in recommender systems. Uh, in general, we can train a recommendation model based on the user interactions and the auxiliary item attribute information on warm items. Then we can use the trained model to uh, make recommendations on the code items. However, existing solutions either disclose the private user interactions, such as in the centralized recommendation systems, or the sensitive item attributes, uh, such as in the traditional federated recommendation systems. And in our paper, we, we, we aim to present a privacy-preserving code start recommendation framework, which can provide personalized recommendation service. Uh, to this end, we first propose to separate the item attributes and the user interactions. Uh, that is, the client saves the user interaction data and the server saves item attribute information uh, so that it can ensure that uh, the two types of the security sensitive information are protected from leakage. And then we devise an item representation alignment mechanism. Uh, by aligning the item representation learned from interaction data on the client and the item representation learned from item attribute on the server, we can brace the association between the item attributes and the user preference. Uh, next, I will introduce our proposed method from learning and inferring. Uh, our framework mainly consists of two stages, that is, learn on the warm items and infer on the cold items. Uh, for the stage one, the client first learns a recommendation model locally and uh, uh, it uploads the item embedding to the server for global aggregation. Uh, then the server first aggregates the item embedding globally and it learns a meta attribute network based on the item attribute. Uh, for the item representation alignment mechanism, uh, the server targets the item attribute representations with the global item embedding, and the client regularizes the local item embeddings with the item attribute representations. Uh, this is the optimization objective in stage one. Uh, for the federated learning objective, uh, each client in incorporate a regularization term on the model's training. And for the recommendation model's laws, uh, uh, we adopt the common binary cross entry laws. Uh, for stage two, uh, the server first computes the item attribute representation for code items with the trained meta attribute network. And then it, each client will uh, recommend for the code items with the item attribute representations received from the server and the locally trained user embedding and the rating prediction modules. Uh, to verify the method's performance, we, de we devise comprehensive evaluation and analysis. Uh, we conduct experiments over four code start recommendation benchmark data sets, and uh, for the baselines, uh, we adopt both the federated and the centralized code start recommendation models. 
uh, compa compared with the federated baselines, our method consistently perform much better than them. Uh, besides, by integrating the two existing federated baselines into our proposed framework, they can achieve outstanding performance improvement in all settings. Uh, also, our method achieves better performance than the centralized baselines on all data sets. Uh, for ablation studies, uh, we conduct two model variants by removing the key modules. Uh, the experimental results show that compared with deploying the attribute network locally, our method can learn two item representation, which enhance the system's ability to identify different items. And uh, compared with removing the item representation alignment mechanism, our method enables the clients achieving a more comprehensive item embedding enhanced with attribute representation. And the server absorbing the user preference towards items. Uh, we also conduct experiments to analyze the impact of high parameters in our method uh, for the regularization coefficient in client model training. Uh, from the results, we can find that as the coefficient increases, the performance first gets better and decreases. Uh, for the meta attribute network training epoch, uh, from the results we can find that uh, one step optimization is enough to achieve satisfactory performance, which is efficient without much computational overhead. Uh, to analyze the model convergence, we set different client participation ratios in each communication round, and we found that our method can achieve outstanding performance at a small sampling ratio, and more clients participating in a communication round would accelerate the model convergence. Uh, finally, we conduct experiments to analyze the privacy protection ability of our method by integrating the local differential privacy technique with different noise strengths. Uh, from the results, we can find that the model performance decreases as the noise strength increases. Well, the performance drop is slight if it is not too large, hence a moderate noise strength is desirable to achieve a good trade-off between model performance and the privacy protection ability. Uh, finally, we, we summarize our paper. Uh, we first uh, present a novel framework named iFedRec, which is the first effort to solve the code start recommendation under the federated setting, where there are no interactions for the new items. And our method achieves the sort of performance in extensive experiments and in depth analyze supports the significance of code items recommendation. And the, propo the proposed item semantic alignment mechanism can be easily integrated into existing federated recommendation frameworks for the code start recommendation performance improvement. Uh, that's all for today's talk. Thanks for the listening.